mantra of this campaign, and that is this. We now have a government that is completely out of control, and yet it is intent on controlling every aspect of its citizens' lives. That's what we are facing now. There is no turning back. And, you know, when you think about how out of control it is, we have deficits and spending that no one, would, no, everyone knows is unsustainable. It's absolutely shameful what they're doing. Even Obama's own people say it's not even, it's not even sustainable in the short run anymore. But how are they trying to control our lives? They want to control your health care. They want to control your energy use. They want to tell you what you can hear on the radio. That's the next step. And they also want to let us all think that we're racist for not saying that we want people to have amnesty and access to our social security system when they haven't been here and haven't come here legally. Everything about what they're proposing is going to affect every life in this room and, and lives to come. Now, one of the things you all know, I mean, you're a savvy group of people, this race in San Francisco is a tough one for a Republican because I'm probably re um, supporting the Republican. I am a Republican. I have been a Republican in the city. I've been a spokesperson for our party for 15 years now. I've been elected seven times to the Central Committee there. But we have... <laughs> but you know, we, we have to understand that we have to get a... If, if the Republicans do not take back the House, in 2010, it's over. Because when you see the scale, the scope, and the speed with which Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama have changed our country, our free enterprise system, our uh, limited government, it, it was never that limited before, but it is out of control now. But I do want you all to understand, this is it. This has to happen in 2010. And I think I'm the best person in San Francisco to do it because for the first time in a long time, we're going to have a Republican primary in San Francisco. And again, um, I have an opponent who, he and I agree on many things about economy, certainly about limited government, about where government should be. But I'll tell you one thing we totally are on opposite sides of the fence about, and that is about homeland security, the treatment of terrorists, national security, defense, and foreign policy. We have nothing in common. And I, I don't know, there's a lot of different opinions in this room, but I want you to look into my views about this. I believe that we do not have terrorists in our courts in this country. I don't want to see them tried here. I don't want to see them here. Yet. In the last week or two, we have seen unbelievable gains in Afghanistan. My opponent thinks we should cut and run. I think we stay there and we finish the job. I believe in peace through strength. My opponent believes that our military bases around the country, I'm sorry, around the world, are unconstitutional. I couldn't disagree with him more. So I just want you to know there are decisions to be made in San Francisco, in Congressional District A, and anyone who's from San Francisco or who knows a Republican voter in San Francisco, I want you to tell them to look into the views of my, my views, and you can find those on DefeatNancyPelosi.com, and look into my opponent's views, and I think I will prevail handily. So um, I do want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank Sally. She is our rock. And um, Sally. And I do want to add, she is not paid by the Republican National Committee. Or anybody. Not a dime. Yes. <laughs> Nobody's paid Sally. She's done this all as a labor of love. So again, I'm Dana Walsh running against Nancy Pelosi, and please keep track of our um, our campaign there. I think it's very exciting that Republicans are going to be battling it out in San Francisco and come to our debates and participate and tell all your friends in San Francisco what's going on to bring Nancy Pelosi back here and leave her here in the city. Bye-bye.